These two spaniels are multi-skilled canine detectives. Cocker Spaniel Diesel is three and a half years old. Springer Spaniel Vinny is three. Their handler is PC Gibson. They don't really sort of play together because they're both busy doing their own little things, but if one's sniffing something, the other will go and have a look. So what you've got there, I'll have a little go. Don't wheel, Vin! No! <laughs> The crackdown is in Camden, home of the famous market and a magnet for drug dealers. But they don't deal openly on the streets anymore. These days, they hide the stuff in the street. The drug dealers know that they can't be caught with the drugs on them, so what they do is they secrete them around the street furniture and then when they get a deal, they then go back, pick one up and then sell it on. So it's our job to find where the hides are. Diesel's also trained to find money, wherever it may be concealed. Have you got some cash in your pocket? Yeah, I've got a wallet. Yeah. He's found the cash. <laughs> oh, when I say some cash, I'm a five pound note. That's about it something. doesn't matter. Good boy. Yeah, yeah. clever boy. <laughs> it cost £6,000 to train Diesel to this level. He's only been working the streets for a year, but already his worth is weight in drugs. Inverness Street was the main problem. Um, at Camden. I mean, when it first came down here, we got loads of highs, and now we've just done the whole sweep of it and we haven't found anything, so the operation's obviously working, which is good. When Diesel scores, finding drugs or cash, PC Gibson gives him his ball. Sometimes he will do anything to please PC Gibson. He's telling me there's cash in the cash till. <laughs> good boy! Diesel's a true pro. The money is soon forgotten as the search for drugs begins. Can you see now he's, he's interested in this box? Yeah, had cannabis in there. Good boy. But to him, that's his indication. The tin may once have contained cannabis, but that's not enough to get his ball. I don't reward for contamination. I'm sorry. You don't get your reward. For Diesel, these are tough times. They're a good boy, though. Yes, you are. Remnants of cannabis in a tin, hidden up high in a box. That nose, it's, it's, it impresses me every time. And the nose must deliver. Aside from the cost of training Diesel, each of these special operations cost the Met Police a bundle. Diesel has policing in his blood. He comes from a long line of talented police dogs. This canal towpath is a favourite haunt for druggies. When we first started doing it, we just used to get these just in um, a normal bag, and now they know that the dogs are out, so they're now trying to make it airtight so that the dogs can't smell it. Could be cannabis in Class A, and, um, and that's how they hide it now in these sort of quantities. Diesel's motives for beating the dealers at their own game are linked to his personal obsession. He's a boy. His tennis ball. He's found dogs in the past where it's been buried. He found it in cracks in the walls, in cars, secreted within the, um, the bodywork on the outside of cars. He's got a fantastic nose. And it's working constantly as well. Whereas if a dog breathes in through the mouth and the nose, you're only getting half the scent. But when he's working, he'll breathe in fully through his nose. And gives him the best chance then. Come on in. When Diesel's nose is working flat out, he can pick up the scent of a drug from more than 20 yards. And no amount is too big, too small, or too difficult. What's it, boy? What's it? He's showing some interest. When they can't actually touch anything, he'll do what he's doing now. He's now whining at me. For once, Diesel needs help from a police dog's best friend. Where? 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 That area there. It's got to be close to the railings because they can reach it. There. there you go. That's he one. found it. Yeah. Good boy! <laughs> it's just one very small self seal bag of a uh, cannabis. <laughs> it may be one small bag of cannabis, but for Diesel and PC Gibson, it's one big step. 
it's quite a way back from the railings at arm's length and he's worked hard, he's sourced that, he's found it, he's got a reward, he's happy, I'm happy, fantastic. Now that is job satisfaction. In Camden, the operation against the drug dealers is still going strong. As is Diesel's nose. They just work with their nose. It doesn't matter to them if it's pitch black or um, middle of the daytime. The evening is usually prime time for Camden's dealers, but not tonight. OK, here we've got a rubbish bin, and that's his indication there. And I haven't given him his tennis ball, so he's getting really annoyed with me because he knows he's found some drugs. I can't see anything because it's pitch black. This time, it's PC Gibson who's being put to the test. Does she back Diesel's nose and produce the ball, or wait? But I've got to go with him and trust him. Good boy! Yeah. Can we have an officer look on that corner, please? Hey, good boy! Oh, it's a lot. Scum. Anything? Yeah, lots. How many? Just a big block of it. Oh, it's a clever boy! <laughs> When I first started working him, I'd have a look first and then reward him. But I took the chance and, um, and luckily <laughs> they found a big bag of um, cannabis. So he's come up trumps again, haven't you? Within hours, PC Gibson and Diesel are at the dog squad training HQ, facing an examination. Diesel's nose is about to get a checkup, not for drugs, for firearms. Twice a year, dogs like Diesel must have their powers of detection tested. Diesel will be let loose on a firearms crime scene set up by instructor Ken Parr. We had a shooting in here last night. Uh, two people have been caught. We know that there are two types of weapon out there because they've been shot with different types of caliber. We know the shooting took place here and this is the route that they've driven off in. What we're doing now is we're um, looking for the item that Ken's put out and basically what he needs to do is we work together. So he should stay quite close to me whilst we're searching. And if he goes too far, then it's my job to pull him back. Um, and any bits that he's missed, then I'll like get him to search. But at the moment, he hasn't missed anything. One of the weapons used was a shotgun. Yay, good boy! The other was a pistol. Diesel's been trained to recognize the smell left behind on a gun when it has been fired, no matter how well it's been hidden. What is it? Got something, have you? We got. Oh, look at that lovely indication. Head down, that's perfect. Absolutely. Tail going mad. Good lad! Good boy! He's cleared all that hedge in like nanoseconds that quick. And that's what the dogs have been looking for. Single barrel 410 handygun, it's called. Um, recently fired, and that's been in there now over an hour. Sometimes I forget that I'm working him because he just works so well on his own that I stand back and I get mesmerised and I just get totally absorbed and he's just, he's just fascinating to watch to work because he loves it so much. He's pretty special.